Is that girl, what's her name? Is she cool? Is she lame? Oh, you're talking about what's her name? Deborah Is she lame? Is she cool? Is she breaking every rule? Is she anybody's fool? Deborah Ann, Deborah Ann, marching in her own parade. Deborah Ann, she's like one in a million. Deborah Ann, Deborah Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. Catch her if you can, Deborah Ann. Who? Is that that girl from gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she, and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, marching in her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan. Cool, Pepper a singing Dieter doll. Snot all day. This concert's gonna rock. You speak the truth, PA. A whole festival of flaming snot featuring special guests Vaguely Sally and Colorblind Felon. Cool ringage. Wow, Nikki. You left for Chill Age 20 minutes ago and you're back with a nose ring? It's my homage to snot. It's also a clip on. Proof that the punk scene and hygiene can peacefully coexist. Just think, we're actually gonna spend the whole day together. I can't remember the last time we hung out. Just the three of us. I've been so busy, I've barely had time for the almighty crunch pod. I've barely had time for bleeding. And I barely have time for violin lessons, debate club, and rhythmic gymnastics. Oh, I may have to cut back on my Russian studies. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Next. Hello, ticket. Hello, snot. Hello? Sold out? Sweet justice, where do you hide? He's heavier than I thought. My life is trash, my life is trash, my life is PA. The trash can is not the answer. Milo's right. There must be a way to get another ticket. Of course. Why didn't I think of it before? I know just the person to get me into that snot concert. Oh, Peppy, no. I'd feel silly calling Mick Snot. But, Mom, you guys went to junior college together. He stayed in our house for a whole week. The way I see it, he owes us a ticket. Come on, Lydia. Let your fingers do the jogging. And correct me if I'm wrong, Ms. Pearson, but weren't you and Mick the toast of hazelnut for a brief moment in time? <laughs> All right, I'll call. Although, I'd hate to lead him on. Yes! We're back in business. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have dialed the wrong number. I'm trying to reach Mick Snot. Well, this is Lydia Pearson. Who's this? Well, when Mick gets out of the bathroom, let him know that I call. Oh, the nerve. Who does he think he is for getting his roots like that? I knew it when he was still Harry Schnitzer for crying out loud. She's not coming back, is she? It's no use, guys. We're never going to get that extra ticket. You might as well just go without me. Nonsense, Pepper Ann. You are a bigger snothead than I. Here, take my ticket. But, Nikki, you love snot. True. But the least I could do is offer. Well, thanks, Nikki. <gasps> I just hope you're sure about this. Well, uh, well, I... You're the best. I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. I don't know about you, Milo, but I can't wait until the concert. Uh, right, PA. <sighs> uh, guys, check the Barmy Blizzard. Did you know they're going to play six original songs and a hip-hop version of Let Her Rip? Oh. Plus, there's going to be fireworks, and rumor has it that the Hazelnut Junior Orchestra is going to back them on a couple songs. The H-J-O? Mm-mm. Nikki, that niçoise salad you ordered sure looks tasty. Yeah, it does. Can I have a bite? Why not? You have my concert ticket. Why not have my salad? And since you're so good at having things, have my silverware. And why not have my school books? And while you're at it, why don't you have this shirt off my back? Get a hold of yourself, woman. You're in public. Nikki, call me crazy, but I'm starting to think you didn't want me to have that ticket. No, duh! Offering you the ticket was just a polite gesture. Or do you even know what a polite gesture is? Fine, Nikki. If you're gonna be a crybaby about it, take the stupid ticket back. No, thank you, Pepper Ann. Even if they allowed me 
babies in the amphitheater, I wouldn't want my crying to disrupt the concert! Nikki, I want you to take it. How very kind. But obviously this means too much to you. Keep it. But I don't want it. Neither do I! Well then, I'll take it. What? If neither one of you wants to take it, why should it go to waste? This will be a perfect surprise for someone whose name starts with Gwen and ends with Mesro. Good day, Gwen Mesro. I hope you don't mind, but I slipped a little surprise into your locker. <gasps> I love surprises! Gwen Mesro! I'm so happy to see you! How long has it been? Uh, five, six minutes? Oh, it seemed like ages. Well, ta! Oh, Milo, I'm so excited! I just love... Banana peels? What is this? Some kind of sick joke! You know I'm allergic to potassium! <laughs> Gwen Mesro, wait! Come back! <laughs> I'm fine. We did it, Pepper Ann! I know! Nikki, I couldn't have gotten my ticket back without you. Your ticket? This is my ticket. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine, Seamus on U.S. Top of the morning to you, backstabbers! Hey, you backstabbed us, so we backstabbed you, and now Nikki's backstabbed me. If you ask me, Nikki's the one who needs a little backstabbage. Know what I'm saying? Plot and scheme all you want, Pepper Ann, but the bottom line is, I've got the other ticket. Fine. You two go to the concert. Just remember that if you both go, you'll have to spend the whole day sitting next to a conniving backstabber. Side by side. Hour after hour. Maybe that's exactly what you deserve. Milo, what do you want for the other ticket? My Serena the Dolphin Princess trading cards? My Jane Goodall action figure? Oh, so you think you're too good to sit next to a conniving backstabber? Well... I'll sell you this ticket when pigs fly. When pigs fly! Now. Nice breeze, yes? Fine, you win. I'd rather give my ticket away than sit next to you. Here, Dieter, take my ticket. <gasps> oh, Nikki, you are the most thoughtful person in all of Hazelnut proper. More thoughtful than Milo, that's for sure. Oh, now you're saying I'm not thoughtful. Well, I can be thoughtful. Here, Dieter, take my ticket, too. Oh! The fabulous Rita Moreno was right. Everything is free in America. I can't believe it. I've been betrayed by my two best friends. Hey, you've been acting just as crazy as they have. I mean, think about it. Concerts come and go, but best friends are forever. How could I've been so foolish? Best friends are forever. Has anyone seen Nikki or Milo? Uh, if you want to be interviewed for the extra snack ticket, take a number, toots. Guys, I've been selfish. I've been an idiot. Your friendship is more important to me than some stupid concert. I forgive you, Pepper Ann. Candidate number 249. Though I really should be going. <gasps> Nikki, how could you? Number 250? Right here. At two, Milo? Look, Pepper Ann, it's all very well and good that you've come to your senses. But Milo and I talked it out, and we believe that since we bought the tickets in the first place, one of us deserves to go to the concert. Oh, really? Well, in that case, step aside, because that ticket is mine, baby! Mine! Hey, come oh, on. Hey. So, Dieter, my hunky little Deutschlander, how about I cook you up a big pot of schnitzel? Follow me, comrade. Let music be the food of your life. Dieter, look! Your hero, Klaus. Germany's favorite truck-driving cartoon uber monkey on a beanie. A oh. finer tribute. Oh. Dieter wants schnitzel, and he's taking me to the concert. He's a cultured Ooh. boy. He wants a cultured date. Who'd want to take a girl when you, me, and Klaus makes three? Stop huh? it, all of you! These cursed tickets are ruining friendships and turning you people into animals! I want no part of them! Oh, 
Ich hab nichts in den Mäuer, wenn man den Mund so... Well, now you've done it. We've gotta be here somewhere. Find these keepers. Come on, tickets. Come to Papa. That's right, Carlos. Two tickets to the snot concert. They just fell from the heavens. Ernie, the janitor has my tickets? Can you believe it? I mean, it's not great and all, but the best part is I'd be spending the whole day with my number one amigo. <laughs> That's you, Carlos. We're pathetic. We're best friends, and this is how we treat each other. The whole point of the concert was to spend time together and celebrate our friendship. Look at us. I feel so trashy. Is there an astringent strong enough to cleanse myself of this shame? I'm sorry, guys. You smell like rotting meat mold. I think I'm going to vomit. I can't believe we let ourselves get so crazy over a self-absorbed rock star of all people. You have 86 new messages. Mick, it's me, Lydia Pearson from junior college. Look, I don't know who you have traipsing around answering your phone, but it's Lydia again. I mean, he's in the bathroom. Real original. I'd at least hope you'd have the decency to... The decency to call me back. Unlike those others, I have got my self-respect. Mom, who are you talking to? Uh, your Aunt Fanny. I'll call you back from a payphone. Look away, Pumpkin. I must be dreaming. It's not a dream. Pick it up! Hmm. No name, no initials. No place for me to turn it in. Just a fat wad of George's Ben's and Abe's. I'm rich! You can buy anything you want. <gasps> I've got it! Finally, the black velvet fuzzy painting I've always wanted is mine! Finding that money was destiny. Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But don't a smart girl like you wonder who lost all them greenbacks? I... well, what was the point? There was no name, no ID. Hey, maybe it was a young fella who needed a train ticket to see his dying ma. Or a hard-working family just trying to make ends meet. Or maybe... Where's the Christmas goose, father? Where are the presents? Where's the nondescript money clip with all the money your grouchy old boss gave you for my operation? Oh, I lost it! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! I hate you, Black Velvet Fuzzy Painting. I've always wanted. <laughs> I hate you. Wait a minute. I know what I'll do. I'll return the painting, get the money back, and somehow find its rightful owner. Nobody will ever have to know that I... <laughs> Nikki and Milo. No, not the closet. <laughs> Hello? Will you accept a collect call from Fuzzy, see? Yes. Face it, girly. Your guilt's not gonna go away by shoving me in the closet. It won't work, I tell ya. Hey, PA. What's the rumpus? Is everything okay? We thought you were going to meet us at Vidiot's after school. Uh, I... uh... Go on, tell him what happened. Sing, canary, sing! Did you hear that? Hear, hear what? what? You're in the swamp and sinking fast, baby. They're your friends. They'll throw you a line. I... I didn't go to Vidiot's cause I forgot. Oh, P.A., what refreshing honesty. You just make me so proud. At the risk of sounding mawkish, I believe it's that honesty that makes our friendship so special. We can tell each other anything. Okay, okay, what do you guys want from me anyway? We just wanted to make sure you were all right, Pepper Ann. When the Queen of Crunch skips out on the pod squad, you get worried. Oh. Well, we're glad you're okay. Manana, muchacha. See ya. I'm a slime bucket. <laughs> a big old slimy bucket of slime. Not if you come clean about the money. Just tell someone. Mom, Aunt Janie, anyone, they'll understand. Oh, sure. They'll understand. I'm a rotten, dishonest, sneaky, greedy, bad to the... So what are you gonna do, huh? Just leave me in the closet? Yup, and never again take what's not rightfully mine.
Here, you gave me one too many napkins. Here, man, you dropped this soda can. Why, you can get five cents for that in Maine or Utah. What? <gasps> I'm calling my grandma. Oh, no reason. I just thought there's nothing like a call from a favorite granddaughter to put a smile on dear grandmother's face. <gasps> Hi, grandma. Bye, grandma. Sir! Sir! Who is this? Oof! Those dang crank callers! Why don't they just leave me alone? Leave me alone! Wait! I've got something for you! Here! You left a dime in the paper. You, you chased me all this way just to give me a dime? I thought you were one of those petition-pushing political activists with a left-wing agenda. Oh, no, sir. My only agenda was to return what's rightfully yours. Welcome to a very special episode of Lab Town USA. You know, sometimes when we're looking for something that tickles our funny bone, we find something that touches our hearts. Today, our hidden cameras are inside a video arcade where we rigged a game for laughs, but got pure gold. No way. That's you, Peppy. The coast is clear. Will she walk out with this small fortune in quarters? Never even crossed her mind. <laughs> wow. In all my years as host, I have never seen such honesty and compassion. For Laugh Town USA, this is Avery Blake. Good night and good laughs. Hazelnut tops the list of the most honest towns in America. Is your town on the list? Stay tuned for Nutline Tuesday. Did I ever tell you you're my hero? <sighs> yes. Well, this time I mean it. The front page, Pepper Ann, the front page. You were all the buzz on the Denny and Meat radio show, and they broadcast from Tijuana. Like, she's really great and honest. She once told me I had belly button lint, and I was, like, so grateful because it was, like, right before a test. Once, when I was so hungry, she gave me her own piece of pizza pie. I once saw Pepper Ann feeding a baby bird with an eyedropper. How's my hair? <laughs> I just wanted to make up for taking that money, but it all backfired. <sighs> Everyone thinks I'm so honest and good. If they only knew the truth. Oh, if they only knew the truth. Hey, it's never too late to tell the truth. Yes, it is. Everyone looks up to me. I'm a role model for small, impressionable children. The mayor's giving me the nutcracker to the city, for goodness sake. Look, who cares what they think of you? What matters is what you think of you. You gotta tell the truth, see? Go ahead, tell them! And get some shelves for your sneakers. I can barely move in here. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Good morning! Today we are honoring one of Hazelnut's finest citizens. Not only has her unwavering honesty put our quaint city on the map, she's inspired us by her selfless will to do what's right and good. Pepper and Pearson. I present you with the Nutcracker to the city. Tell them. <gasps> On behalf of the Pop Scouts Troop number 651, I present Pepper Ann Pearson with the Honest Abe Honesty Trophy. Thank you. Tell them. Thank you, Dieter. My name is Estelle Summers, and I am the chairwoman of Hazel's Angels, Hazelnut's Women's Charity League. Congratulations, Pepper Ann! 
Hazel's Angels has chosen you as our very first honorary angel. Tell them. Ouch. Tell them. Ouch. Tell them. Ow. Enough! Oh. I'm no angel. I'm not even close. The girl you saw on TV, that's not the real me. No, the real me found a large sum of money at the mall, and since there was no name or ID with it, I kept it. That's right. I kept it, and I spent it. I wonder what I would have done in the same situation. I would have kept it, too. Hey, if there was no ID, it's their own darn fault for losing it. You bent my halo. I'm so sorry. You must all think I'm a lying, thieving, conniving. We all just think you're human, Pepper Ann. Yeah, everyone makes mistakes. And you never have to be afraid of telling the truth. But you do realize I will have to take the Nutcracker back. I'll just hang on to these. You understand. Fork it over, Fräulein! Guys, don't look at me like that. I'm gonna earn the money I took and pay back whoever lost it. I'll babysit, mow lawns, give blood again and again, whatever it takes to set things right. Pepper Ann, you're our best friend and we're going to help you. I just wish you'd told us right away so we could have helped sooner. Thanks. So what did you spend all the moolah on anyway? <laughs> it wasn't that silly black velvet fuzzy painting you've always wanted, was it? What? <laughs> no! I, uh, I bought a custom-made skateboard for Moose. Yeah! Don't tell her about it, though. It's, uh, for her birthday. Oh, for the love of McGarkey! I glow in the dark, see? One day they're gonna find me, and then the jig is up, Goily. The jig is up! Did, Did you, you hear, hear that? that? Hear what? 